Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for Boxing News and Views from around the internet. Michael Hunter has been handed a career lifeline following a recent shock loss to Artem Soslinko. He has been announced to face Cassius Cheney on the 7th of June, and this will be on a Don King card that is headlined by Adrian Broner versus Blair Cobbs. So what we'll do, we'll cut to the press release and then to some comments from Hunter acknowledging the fight and a few other little bits and pieces because there's a little bit going on here. And then some thoughts about the fight proper. Because actually, it's pretty well matched, I think. So you have the press release here from Don King, from donking.com. Uh, also, I think you can find it on his Instagram. So it confirms the three different um, champion fights, as it were, and the championship fights. And then it says, in addition to the above three championship fights, a heavyweight feature fight is set as Cassius Cheney, 23-1-16 knockouts of New London, Connecticut, takes on Michael the Bounty Hunter, 23-1-2-16 knockouts uh, of Las Vegas, Nevada. So Hunter, just uh, a week or two ago, was in Uzbekistan. He lost to Artem Saslinko in a pretty scrappy fight where neither guy looked that great. Uh, ultimately, they didn't read out the, the scores, but the win was given to Saslinko. So it was unclear from having watched that fight and you know everything going on, because it's not listed on box rec, was this counting against his record? Because it sort of seemed to losing that fight in a far-flung place like that could send you off into oblivion. But, uh, you know, just a week or so later, announced in a fight, which is uh, reportedly, according to Michael Benson, uh, going to be for the so-called interim heavyweight title belt for the WBA, which uh, is currently vacant. I did go to the WBA website, couldn't find a resolution or an order for that to, to take place. But what we do know is previously you had uh, Martin Bacoli and Cassius Cheney had been ordered to fight by the WBA. Ultimately, that fight has not happened. It was meant to be a purse, but if they couldn't make a deal, haven't been made aware if that's happened or not. It's seemingly everyone's moved on from that, obviously, with Cassius Cheney now being um, facing Michael Hunter. And when you go into the comments here, because I saw Billy Nelson, uh, who trains and manages Martin Bacoli, saying this isn't true. Uh, someone here says, I thought Bacoli was fighting Cheney for that title. How's Hunter jumped ahead of him? And then he does actually ask Billy Nelson to um, to weigh in. So I thought, well, I'll click on that comment. And it's Cassius Cheney commenting, saying, long story. So obviously that means that um, he's not fighting Bacoli and something's gone on and all of a sudden everyone's moved on and Michael Hunter is Johnny on the spot uh, after this recent loss and he's in the picture now. Uh, for a fight for the so-called WBA interim heavyweight belt. As it is, Michael Hunter currently rated 8th in the WBA. Not sure if his rating is affected by that loss to Artem Soslenko in Uzbekistan, or if in fact that counts against his professional record. A little unclear. That was part of a what was called a Champions Night boxing event. But anyway, you've got Michael Hunter saying respect to the WBA, and that was after someone left a comment saying, liking that WBA boxing, giving Michael Hunter his previous opportunity that was erased for no reason. Finally, boxing doing the right thing. And he sort of had been left out on a little bit of an island by the WBA. He'd gone that route, and sometimes that can be a perilous thing to do because the WBA chops, changes, does all sorts of interim things, does funny things, funny orders. Uh, but because of inactivity, he... I, he was just out of the rankings and some of that was not his fault Huey Fury was meant to fight him twice in 2022 obviously it didn't happen Hunter has more recently because he's not connected with a big promoter uh, hasn't been able to get some of the fights that I think fans would expect and think that he should be in there's a lot of people getting paid a lot of big money in Saudi Arabia um, right now but Hunter is on the outside looking in there was a point uh, not so long ago where he was uh, definitely entrenched within the top 10 of the heavyweight division but just inactivity and um, I don't know if it's connected to management or he's been frozen out for whatever reason Michael Hunter hasn't been in the fights that I think fans wanted him to be in and he looked rusty against Saslenko very scrappy a lot of holding wasn't a great fight to watch 
and he's going to need to be better than that fight for Cassius Cheney. But uh, just going to uh, a couple of other things here. So he says he's no longer interested in fighting at Bacoli because um, someone had said Bacoli should hopefully fight Michael now. Uh, and then um, talking about Bacoli again, when Bacoli finds all my social media outlets and I go and get blocked, good luck with your journey, brother. It was an honor to share the ring with you at Martin Bacoli. I think at this stage, it kind of looks like the only thing that's going to happen to make that fight happen could be the Saudis. But is that overcooked now? I mean, five and a half, six years on from that happening, uh, the rematch probably could have, should have um, happened by now, but it hasn't. Will it happen? So, and arguably maybe you know, two or three years ago was the perfect opportunity. But yeah. Anyway, talking about this fight with Cassius Cheney, this is actually a decent fight. I think Cassius Cheney is looking for a step up opportunity. He's uh, previously fought George Arias, didn't throw enough punches, didn't get the decision. He seemed confused after that, but he didn't let his hands go enough. I think against Martin Bacoli, I sort of didn't think that um, he stood a chance in that fight so much. But against the Michael Hunter, who hasn't been as active, had a bit of a scrappy performance in Uzbekistan, and Cassius Cheney is bigger um, than Michael Hunter. There's a, it's an interesting style matchup. I do think that for Hunter, coming into this fight, he's going to have to be in better condition. So basically, June the 7th, what are we, about five or so weeks away, six weeks away from that fight. Hunter, now having that tune-up, got, got gotten that out of the way despite it being a loss, uh, he obviously has had a camp behind him. He needs to build off that. I think he has to be in better condition because uh, part of what makes Michael Hunter so dangerous or has done in the past was him being able to come in and out, use his reflexes and speed uh, against the much bigger guys. Against a guy like Artem Suslenko, who was slightly smaller than Hunter and also relatively quick hands himself, you know, it didn't work quite as well. But against guys who are bigger and maybe a bit more lumbering, certainly he, I think the better condition that he's in utilizes some of those advantages that he does have over some of the, the taller timber of the heavyweight division. Uh, for Cassius Cheney, he's going to need to be more active. He's going to have to continue to work the jab, uh, but just let his hands go in general. Can't sort of sit there like a statue, not really doing too much, because against uh, George Arias, you know, he just let rounds slip away. Didn't throw it, let his hands go. But I guess this is a Don King card. Is Cassius Cheney... Um, I th is he signed with King? I th I can't recall if he is. But um, sometimes funny things can happen on a Don King card if you're the home fighter. So Michael Hunter is going to need to go in there and basically make a statement. If he really wants to get back in the mix with the top guys in the heavyweight division, you got to put on good performances that entertain. The fight against Suslenko, yeah, it was what it was. I think for a lot of fans who probably, you know, boxing fans, a lot of people haven't seen it, didn't know it was happening. But, um, you know, for this, there'll be probably a few more eyeballs. And given he's had the warm-up fight, he's got to go in there and fire. Because if he wants to get those big fights, he's got to entertain. And, you know, ideally, he'd need to stop Cassius Cheney and to get himself in the, the conversation for a big fight, to get in that sort of Saudi roster, to get the Saudi money. I don't know with this uh, fight with Don King, because often King can have options on different fighters, that sort of stuff. If King now has his hooks into Hunter in a promotional sense, we'll have to see what happens. But I actually don't mind the fight because I think based on what we've seen recently from Hunter and some of the attributes that um, Cheney has, yeah, it's, it's not bad matchmaking at all. And I think for both guys... It's a perfect fight at this time because they need each other. That similar sort of name and level, at least fighting below the world level, that this could springboard them onto something bigger and better. I am favoring Michael Hunter, but you know you can't rule out Cheney completely because he can punch and he's uh, got some good attributes if he decides to use them and throws enough punches. And if Hunter is maybe sort of come off um, maybe some of his peak and he's maybe not where he needs to be right now you know potentially there's an opening for there for Haney to exploit but Michael Hunter you know for his career and the what next this is a huge opportunity to really put himself back in the shop window for huge fights and huge huge paydays I like it what do you make of it all drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared I'm out